I have a Canon T5 or 1200D camera and have a problem with uh, overexposure. And then I find, I search the internet and for other favorite search engines. All I find out is that there are a lot of people, uh, some of, uh, many of them complain the overexposure on the, on the DSL camera. Uh, mainly, uh, uh, especially what I'm looking for is a Canon. And then there are a lot of people complaining the overexposure, even in auto mode. Auto mode means the full automatic mode. Uh, in other words, it's a green box where you turn the mode dial. So what is a full auto mode? Which means that any manual setting will be ignored. And then there's uh, some people don't seem to read the context. And the offering is setting the, the exposure compensations and so on and so forth. But those people don't even read the question. What the whoever asked for is what's wrong with their camera. So, and then there's not many people pointing out, uh, not even a single one pointing out, you know, what exactly wrong for the all overexposure. And then overexposure basically is, is there is an exposure sensor or metering sensor. And where is the metering sensor? And then here is the metering sensor. The metering sensor is in this area. In this area. This is a Canon T5i. And then the this cable is the is the one that is the metering center outputs to the motherboard. And the motherboard will calculate the compensations of the exposure if in the auto mode. So if you have a overexposure problem, you're likely in the auto mode, you likely need to check whether this metering sensor is functioning or not. Usually, yes, it may be as, as simple as there is a some of the components get loose, such as my issue. Okay, so now how do I get access to this metering sensor? Yes, there are three screws on this Canon T5, or which is 1200D. So if you have a different model of the Canon, it is highly likely the metering sensor is on the top of the prism, P-R-I-S-M. So let's, let me open it for this. So you need to, in, in this camera, you need to unscrew the three screws. Screw one, screw two, and screw three. Actually, this is a screw. This one does not need to be unscrewed, so I can screw it back. So you can get access to the inside of the prism. Okay, so now once I have unscrewed one and two and three, three screws, I can literally open up this particular metering sensor. Okay, and then the inside there are the the lens, for the lack of the better words, so the light travel from the from the mirror, and then reflect it over here, which is the your viewfinder. So the meter, what is the metering sensor? This is the one. Is the metering sensor, okay? And then the metering sensor inside, when you're looking into, there is a 
lens. There is a lens. This lens is used to catch the light. Okay. So my problem was the losing of this this lens. This this lens. It was dropping out. So I have to put this one back in place because it was wiggling. So therefore, causing some of the lights is not captured by the metering sensor, which feed back to the motherboard. So the motherboard thinking there's not enough light. So therefore, in the auto mode, it will adjust it accordingly and then either adjusting the, the shutter and or the flash amount of the, uh, the, the, the TTL flash. So therefore, causing the overexposure. So the solution is actually quite simple. Is in my case, is just making sure is this particular lens stay in its place. It's supposed to be there is a slot. So making this lens stay into a place. Okay, so once I make this one lens back to its slot, it will not move. And then I put in this metering sensor back the top back and then the problem solved So solving a overexposure problem in this particular case, the overexposure in auto mode, especially you have an overexposure problem in auto mode or any other mode, you need to pay attention to it is, is it possible? It is highly likely there are the misalignment of the lens inside the viewfinder. And then to open it, to adjust it is incredibly easy and it costs really nothing. It costs really nothing. So thank you for viewing. Bye.